Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at printing something with the Creality CR10. So, um, you know, check Halibuck and Press and Reset and all those guys have already done some interesting things with it. So I don't want to repeat that. So I want to do something a little bit interesting. Uh, for you guys and also kind of to test it out a little bit. Now one of the things that you guys might have remembered back many 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 episodes ago I did a little bit of a shootout with the uh, Monoprice Mini and the Fabricator Mini doing an Eiffel Tower and Monoprice uh, kind of won hands down on that. So I wanted to do something similar with the CR, uh, CR10 but I didn't want to do the Eiffel Tower. So what kind of struck me is a couple weeks ago for business I was out in the Middle East particularly Dubai and I was able to go to the top of the Burj Khalifa, which is the world's tallest building. And so one of the things when you go to these tall buildings, and I've been to about every tall building in the world except uh, Taipei 101, I've been there, but not to the top, is you have these junk stores uh, that sell these tourist kind of trap things. And, and, and so uh, one of the things I noticed was this um, 3D printed model of the, the Burj Khalifa. And I thought, hey, this might be a pretty cool test because of the shape of the building and, and everything. So uh, one of the things I decided to do was, hey, I'll go out to Thingiverse for a model. And sure enough, there was a model out there. I scaled it to, to make some interesting printing challenges for the CRT-10. Nothing too crazy. So I uh, wanted to go ahead and print this out. So, you know, tell you what let's get into it let's print it out and then after it gets done printed out we'll, we'll take a look at time lapse sort of as it's going because I think it'll be interesting and then we'll come back to the bench and we'll see how the CR10 uh, did so tell you what uh, let's hop into it and see how it goes So welcome back. So we've uh, got our print. Um, now, one of the interesting things that I did find is, and I sort of expected this, is you can probably see this along here. Because I did the 5% infill, I did have some bridging problems. I think I'd go at at least a minimum of 10% uh, to double up the bridging. As you can kind of see, it's, it kind of hits the maximum. However, the banding is actually pretty good. I only noticed... Uh, right here a little bit of banding and then up here a little bit of banding but you can see this tip and this is one of the reasons that uh, I actually did this is this tip actually comes out pretty good I want to take a look um, let's see how big this is let me zero this I'm hopefully not going to break it so this is about 2.3 millimeters in size uh, circular not sure if I can zoom in on that. Get it over here in the center. And uh, so this actually came out pretty good. Now, one of the things, uh, again, I sort of expected some of this uh, bridging problems, but this is not a big deal because I'm actually going to do something uh, to this to kind of finish this piece off. So I'm going to do that and then come back and I'll show you guys how it turned out. Okay, so here we are back. As I showed in the last episode, um, you know, we had some bridging issues on the uh, tower itself, on some of the surfaces and that. So what I decided to do, and I was kind of thinking about doing this anyway, is I used some of the uh, stone spray paint to spray paint this, and it came out pretty good. I, I really like how the, the stone... Um, finishing really works on 3d printed objects because it really looks like um, 
you know, something that you would go now to Hobby Lobby and pick up. And again, you can sit on a shelf and it actually looks pretty cool. Um, I like this. So I use uh, the stone finishing on quite a few of my 3D prints to give it that sort of artistic appeal. And, and again, this is sort of a black and white stone. And this is the kind of look I was going for. Um, and again, however, it comes in, you know, various different colors. So came out pretty good. I'm happy. Whoop. I want to drop it and break it. Um, came out pretty good, so I'm very happy with this. I, and again, I'll put some links to the, the stone stuff I used to finish this down below. And you notice it, it filled in, you know, all the... Um, uh, I didn't do any cosmetic work. The stone stuff, because it's so thick, filled in the bridging problem, so covered that right up. So this actually turned out pretty cool. Now, one of the pieces I, I would suggest is if you're going to do something like this, use a, a, a filament that sort of matches. I don't know if you can see a little bit of the green coming through. It's not really that bad. I may do another shot. And then I may also actually do a, a clear coat to completely finish this off, um, give it a kind of neat look. But uh, all in all, I'm really happy with this the way this came out. And I'm also really happy the way the CRT, uh, the CRT, 10 performed, you know, especially getting up to these smaller pieces. It, it really did an amazing job. And like I say, uh, you know, there were really only really two spots. And again, you could clean those up with sandpaper. And again, if you're going to finish it off, really no big issue. So anyways, um, big thumbs up on the CR10. And uh, hey, if you got any questions, let me know but down below. Happy to try to answer them for you. Subscribe button is going to be coming up over there. Um, don't forget the swag shop up there. And hey, if there's anything else you'd like to see with this guy, well, let me know in the comments below. Cheers. See you in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.